Now, I want to add another instrument uh, as kind of a harmony behind this. So what I want is an organ, because organs are you know pretty common in the in, in the trap music. And so I'm going to do the draw bar organ. And this time I won't be recording it in, I'll just be drawing it in. Now let me turn the snap back to half of a step. And Let me turn off the bells for a second. And again, I'm just control clicking and dragging to select and then uh, shift clicking to duplicate it. And this is something I love about FL Studio, how easily you can just do so many different things and how quick it all is. Okay, so let's see how that sounds. And you see I've moved this one up, I just control clicked and dragged and then clicked and moved it up. Uh, again, if you hold the click, it will duplicate it. So. If, if you want to just move it, you want to click and then move it right away. And yeah. Okay, so let's see how this sounds. Okay, now I'm just gonna middle click and rename this organ. And I'll recolor it to kind of a different shade of pink. And now I want one more instrument in just to, so I can mix it up and stuff. Uh, I should probably explain how you can browse the different presets in the plugins. Most of them, if you click this arrow here, it'll have a list of presets. And it'll also have arrows here and here, which you can browse through them one at a time. Um, Auto Gun is a bit different. You browse through the presets by pressing these arrows here. And if you're not sure about how to browse the presets of a certain plugin, definitely click on this arrow here of that plugin and go down to help. It will open up the manual page for the plugin and see right there it says preset selectors here and here. Don't forget about the help option and the FL Studio manual. Okay, so now I want a synth string. Um, I think I want a PMW song. Yeah, and this way I have like a raw sound along with all these smooth sounds. I think I might turn it down. So 
So again, these volume knobs are good for just raw volume adjustments, but later on you can use the mixer to make more final volume adjustments. Okay, and if you've noticed, um, if you've been kind of somewhat following along with me, you've probably noticed that your FL Studio doesn't have these kind of grayed out notes of the other patterns. And the way you get these is by clicking on this arrow here, going down to helpers and selecting ghost channels. Uh, you can also do it just by pressing Alt and V. And again, there's a lot of different options here and a lot of different tools here that, you know, you should kind of take the time and, I guess, explore or even read the manual to figure out what they do. Because so I'm not going to cover them a whole lot in this video because I'm just covering the very basics, just all that you need to know to start making your own songs. And again, I just, I did control A to select it all. And you know, a lot of it works the same as mo like any other program would work. Control A to select it all, control copy to copy it, or control C, sorry, and control V to paste it. And you can see if I click on a certain position in the piano roll before playing it, it will start it from that position unless I hit the stop button. So if I play it, I mean, you have to hit the stop button twice. So if I play it and hit stop, it'll come back here. But if I hit stop again, it'll start over from the beginning. And so that's pretty nice if you're editing one section and you just want it to start at that one section, it just automatically does that for you. Okay. Okay, and another quick way to kind of alternate between the open windows is by pressing the tab button. So if I want to get up the step sequencer, I can just press tab and it'll come up. And then if I press tab again, this will come up because it was open. And right now these are the only two windows open, so it's just alternating between them. And I want to rename this just saw, simply saw and I'll make it another shade. So now I have all these sounds going on in this one pattern, but I want them in separate patterns. And there are a few different ways I could do this. Um, I could, I can right click here to, you know, copy, cut, and then I could paste it into a different pattern. Um, I could go inside the piano roll itself, do control A, copy, or control X to cut it, and go into a different pattern to paste it. Or I can do, if I click here, I can come down to split by channel. And what this will do is it will make each one of these in its own channel, and it will rename it so it will say melody and then bells, melody, organ, and melody saw. So, so you can see I have separate channels for my bells. And then for the organ. And for the saw. 
And another thing you can see is these channels automatically like minimized. They it's called zipping uh, in FL Studio, and it's a nice way if you have a lot of different uh, you know samples or plugins to just keep things nice and neat. And if you want to turn that on again, it's options, general settings, and auto zip empty channels. Okay, so now that we have a few different patterns going on, I'm going to show you how to, you know, put them together and make the final song. And this is done using the playlist. So that's, um, you can click here or you can press F5. Now the playlist works very similarly to the piano roll except instead of placing note data, you're placing audio clips, uh, your pattern clips, and so on. So you can see you even have your quantize option, uh, you have your snap, and so all the um, control, clicking, the copying, the pasting, it all works the same way as it does in the piano roll. Okay, so I'm gonna start arranging the song in a very simple way. Now I want to put in pattern 3 uh, as the introduction because I'll just start off with the organ. So you can, you can see I'm already on the paint tool but if you're not you can select either the draw or the paint or you know whichever tool you need. And right now I just need the paint tool. So I'm gonna paint it in and And if you want to organize your playlist, there are a few different options to do that. Um, how, this didn't recolor. So I'm going to recolor these. Okay. The quick way to organize your playlist is by right clicking and selecting auto name. And what that will do is it will name track four based off of this pattern. So auto name. And it just renamed it to Melody Organ. And you can also rename it by middle clicking, just like the other things, or right clicking and then renaming. And if you want to move the pattern up or down, you can do it by selecting, you know, move up or move down. Or you can hold shift and scroll up and down using your mouse. So I have this one named organ and I'm going to just rename this one as drums. To start off the song, I'm going to insert a new pattern and just call this hat. And that'll just give you a little bit more of a feel for what the tempo is. Now I'm going to add in a couple more patterns. One just for the crash symbol. And yeah, I'll auto name that. And then I'll do another one for a snare roll.
And this one I'm going to edit a little bit in time. So. Okay, and I'm going to auto name this as well. And another layer of organization that the playlist provides you with is the ability to uh, group your tracks. So I can group the snare with the above track, which makes it a part of the drums. And then I can group crash with the above track as well. And then I can auto color group. Uh, let me just, I did that backwards. So I can, I can right click up here and do auto color group and it'll color each of these blue. And you, know, you can resize your tracks. But what grouping your tracks does is it allows you to minimize them. So if I wanted to kind of clean up some things, maybe I had the drums done and I had a lot of drum tracks, which I wanted to get out of the way. Now I can just double click here, which is the kind of separator between the drums and the snare roll. And if I double click that, it will, you know, minimize it. And then I can just click it again to bring it back up. So that's pretty useful if you have a really big project going on and you know you just want to get some things out of the way while you work on other things. Okay, so I'm just going to edit the snare real quickly. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to bring in your own audio clips. So if you have vocals, if you have an MP3 of a song or you know, anything else, you can bring it in to the playlist. And once I get done with the snare roll, I'll show you that. Okay, you can see now I have a basic snare roll done. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can show you that you, know, you can edit your drums in the piano roll if you want to. And to get something from the step sequencer into the piano roll, you just have to right click on the channel and send to piano roll. And you'll see now that the note data is in the piano roll instead. And here I can pitch it up and I can change the volume. And more importantly, I can make the notes play more quickly than you can in the step sequencer. So instead of just playing at steps, I can make them play at a half step, a fourth of a step, or you know, whatever the snap is set to really. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.